what's up y'all and welcome to my youtube channel um it is another week it is another vlog and i bet you guys are probably wondering oh my god the title what's going on i will explain i can explain it's not what it looks like but it is what it looks like if you're new here thank you so much for watching this video make sure that you've subscribed to our channel make sure that you like this video and don't forget to click that notification bell this week i'm going to be taking you guys into a young vlog i kind of have a few things that i need to do and i'll be bringing you guys with me and also i thought i could add a q a or rather a laugh update to this video because um a lot has been going on and i think i need to update you guys on quite a bit let's get right into the video I started my YouTube like what two months ago and to this day I still haven't done a Q&A video, a get to know me tag or anything like that. It's usually the first video that every YouTuber does. I think the reason why I didn't do it is because I just felt like I didn't have like a lot of people who actually wanted to know who I am. Like I didn't have enough subscribers. Plus like I feel like everybody who's following me or who was following me at the time was following me from TikTok or from Facebook or who just knew me in general. So it's like but you guys know me what more do you want from me <laughs> i'm an open book on my all my social medias i literally overshare sometimes there's nothing new that they don't know but since you know your ground is on 400 subscribers or whatever i thought i might as well you know do it now i don't even know what information to give you guys but it'll come to me my full names are tamani mohapi i'm kalanga my name is kalanga i was named after my grandmother who passed away long before i was born um we share the name exactly to the t like her name is tamani mohapi my name is tamani mohapi i could literally be standing in front of a tombstone and it would freak people out because our names are identical that's why most of my dad's other family my dad's sisters call me mom i love my name i used to not like it that much because it was too unique but now i like the fact that it's unique most people call me tammy because i don't know people just like to say that my name is difficult to pronounce but it's not it's unique yes but it has the same syllables as any other Tswana name like tato or tabo just tamani but a lot of people in my lifetime have just decided to call it all funny kinds of things tamani tamain tlamani oh hell no and it's always so weird for me so i just prefer that people call me tammy or tammy like if you're not gonna pronounce my name right don't even bother i am 21 years of age i'll be 22 in november oh really before i forget i am of mixed ethnicity i would say my mom is mogwena and my dad is kalanga that is why i cannot speak kalanga because my mom doesn't know how to speak it so it's like who's my dad going to speak the language with i grew up in tonota i basically moved there when i was six i did my second year of reception because they refused to take me at my city because i was apparently too young the fuck the fuck the fuck so i had to do another year of reception and then started standard one from there up until i guess i finished my form five because even when i was schooling in mata spain francis town i was still living in tonota and my mom would and i would commute every morning and come back every evening together so pretty much that's me education wise i think i was a bit of a bright student <laughs> if i'm not you know tweaking my own horn or whatever i am so powerful my mind oh it amazes me sometimes but now that's just showing me flames but back then i used to debate hey, i did a lot of sport i've played softball before netball i played badminton i did a lot of things as a young kid i appreciate my parents for that because they were not necessarily pushing me into these different i guess activities but they would allow me to do all of those things even though when other parents would be like when does she have time to read 
we should have time to this and my dad was like my kid is top of our class right now if she wants to join a minion club go ahead and i think he also enjoyed the prizes and the medals that they would i would come back home with so he'd just be like yes join that yes so i was in it everything i was a very active child i am tired i did more clubs than a normal human would do in their lifetime more clubs and sports i am the only daughter i have four brothers one half brother and three full blood brothers uh, my pronouns are she her i'm fem- I identify as female i'm currently in my well i guess this is where the life update comes young girl passed her year three exams do I am going to year four, so I am currently, well not yet officially because I haven't registered, but I am currently a fourth year law student. I'll be starting in August. And you remember that, that exam, the one from, for this video? I passed it. It was actually my best grade. Like, I feel, I feel like my CA saved me. It saved me. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. I own a business, I own a natural hair business named Tefalicious and it's been operating for about two years now where we do natural hair styles. I, you guys have probably seen me do people's hair during these vlogs and all that. So yes, there's that chick girl. It's a business queen. I've just always had the business bug in me. So I don't think it's something that's ever going to change. Even in the future, there's going to be more of those. My personality, I am very loud. I am very loud, hey? And I feel like now it's gotten, it's gotten better. People who know me currently know adult me are probably like yeah they know i'm loud already but they don't know the kind of loud i could be because high school junior high primary school me was loud very easy for me to make friends and by that i'll just be talking to everyone thinking they're my friends i think something happened in high school that kind of switched that off for me it's a story for another day and then that's when i sort of became antisocial and i like back into my shell i'm an anti-social extrovert social gatherings are my favorite thing in the world i'm not shy at all i don't really have any food allergies or anything like that i eat anything and everything and i'm not even a picky eater so i like almost everything i'm not doing any sport anymore i'm not sporty at all i've just accepted in my life that when puberty came it just revealed it was a revelation from god that tamani sports are not your thing don't even try don't even bother so no my hobbies are i guess singing and reading i love reading fictional books i'm currently reading the bridgeton series about to finish it i'm on the last book i also love to cook in case you haven't noticed in my vlogs already i do generally enjoy it my favorite genre of music is r&b i enjoy listening to current r&b new soul your hers her is my favorite artist ever kelani is my favorite artist also um someone asked me what countries i'd like to visit i personally feel like holiday wise i want to go somewhere where there's a beach i'm not the kind of girl for a holiday that includes it climbing up mount everest miss me with that i'm out of here me it's lounging on a beach in bali i can only speak two languages and a bit of kalanka and a bit of spanish just because you know duolingo had me in a chokehold at some point i'm a scorpio my birthday is in november i don't really take much consideration of zodiac signs but it's nice to know which one i am i am terrible at quizzes because i was a smart kid would stuff me in those maths and science quiz maths and science problem solving maths and science and they butchered me i knew the content it was here but the fact that you're giving me a minute 30 seconds to answer i am a research present my findings kind of person not a have to think on the spot person i am a huge feminist i support lgbtq rights i am pro-choice I think that's pretty much it. I really don't feel like at this point, I don't know much to tell you guys because I, it's not coming to me at the top of my head. But I feel like you guys will figure these things out as time goes on. Like there's more things you'll see as I continue doing my vlogs because like I said, I'm an open book. Let me touch on this now because yes, I am in a relationship. That is another thing I am mentioning. Yo, who got you smiling like that, gang? Chill, chill. Nah. We have not broken up. He has not left me. He has, but he has not. But he will be. Um, my partner is supposed to be going on a work trip that's gonna be taking a while it's something i knew was gonna happen because of the field he is in so he is technically leaving me even though he hasn't or he isn't but he is i'm gonna really miss him So 
yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like, comment below if there's things I missed out on so that I can, like, include them in the next video. And that's pretty much it for this, I guess, get to know me session. We might as well continue with the vlog. Um, right now it's like 2 to 3. I feel like it's a little bit too early for me to start cooking supper. So I'm about to go to my room. I've actually thought of this plan. Right, since I've closed schools, I didn't want to have a situation where I'm going to open schools without doing all the things I wanted to do during my vacation time. Because usually what happens is I'll like, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. And then I never actually do it because I wake up and I forget that I said I wanted to do this. And I haven't really put a plan in motion. So what I want to do is, I always see these people do this, but they do it usually for dates. They'll make these, you know, little pieces of paper and then they'll throw them in a jug. And then they'll pick out something every day. And then, you know, they'll go have, you know, a date with our partner or something like that. That. but i'm gonna do that but with tasks about of things that i want to do during this vacation and just across throughout the year so i'm going to go do that now and make my little you know piece of paper i've already washed an old peanut butter jar so that i could add them in there every day i'll be picking out something with you guys something for us to do and then we'll do that it'll be fun i promise it'll be fun two thousand years later hey guys i literally just woke up and it is like an embarrassing time right <laughs> It is 2 p.m. You cannot be for real. But to be fair and honest, I slept like at 5 or 6 in the morning. I was up all night for some reason. I don't know. It's totally out of character. I'm not the kind of person who would stay up all night, but I did. My girl woke up at 2 and I had plans today to go to Game City because I need to get, I don't know if it's called a dongle. The thing that will connect my MacBook to the monitor, my printer and all these other things. I don't even know if I'm going to make it at the moment. The shops I think close at around 5 and then Hoko closes at 7 and I'm trying to check all the prices to get the best one. But it's a good thing I live next to Game City so it's not really a long walk, it's like a 10 minute walk from my house. But yeah, will I make it or not? Yesterday kind of was supposed to show you guys me making the jar thing and then my phone just was giving me problems so I couldn't film that but I did make it. I did, I did, I did. Let me go get it or let me come show y'all. Like I said, it is an old peanut butter container. Pink ones are tasks that will need me all day to finish and then the green ones are tasks that will need me like a couple of hours. Those days where I have maybe like one client and then in the morning I can just do something off of this list. I always thought I had like a lot of things that I wanted to do but it didn't even fill the jar. Maybe I'll keep adding stuff as it goes on. I checked yesterday and we are finally on 400. So excited about that. I'm mad at YouTube though because my other video didn't trip. But I don't know how the YouTube algorithm works. So I'm not gonna go out and blaspheme them on their own, you know, platform. Let me go and figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Kinda have a lot of things to explain. So yesterday, no, in fact, the last time I talked to you guys was on Tuesday because I told you guys I was going to go to Game City to go get a couple of things to go get the dongle, not a dongle per se, but the adapter to my MacBook so that I can attach it to my monitor and all those things. And it was like 2 p.m. I then decided, hurry, I'm not gonna go because it seemed a little late and I just didn't want to have to go through the trouble of going there and then having to go again the following day. I went yesterday now yesterday i went to do some grocery shopping i went to pick and pay and then i went to game city to do more grocery shopping and to buy the dongle because you guys trying to meal prep uh my friend bobby wants us to do 35 hard next week and um if you're familiar with the world of fitness basically 35 hard is like uh it's like a, an endurance test for like two and a half months there's like strict rules that you have to adhere to and if you miss one of the rules like you're going to restart it over again basically every day no cheat days no rest days and nothing my girl and i we gonna do it we gonna try we gonna tussle i think i'm gonna document most of my 75 hard on tiktok because i've been neglecting my tiktok guys and i really want to not let it go to waste right now at the moment actually when my phone was giving me problems i went to make myself breakfast i'm having all regular oats tip to people who like eating oats like just change up your essence every now and then instead of using vanilla essence use caramel or lemon or pineapple and oh cinnamon cinnamon in your oats you change a child i was supposed to have a client at 8 30 so i woke up brushed my teeth got ready everything and then i went ahead and cleaned outside and this guy is not here your girl is fully 
but it's been so long since i've been fully booked oh my god so excited even if they like don't come i'm still so very happy so yeah i'm gonna go eat my food talk to y'all a little later bye <laughs> It is 6 p.m. Like I said in the morning, I was fully booked and my mood was so high and not so low because <laughs> Come and guys. And you know what's sad? They both told me that they were coming. Like I didn't even ask them and be like, yo, are you coming or anything like that? They were both like, you know what? No, I'm coming. I'll be a little late. And I was like, yeah, I'm coming. See you later. Did they come? No. It's sad because two other people wanted to book for today. They could have easily filled those spots, but because they didn't tell me that they were not coming, I stood there waiting for them. I just had dinner and I am craving. I'm having like a serious major sweet tooth. So I'm thinking I'm going to make like a chocolate mud cake. Ever since I found out that you can do these without eggs in the microwave, Oh my god, I'm obsessed and I'm trying to limit my intake of them. Your girl's just about to go make one because I think I've eaten pretty well. I deserve a young treat. Tomorrow I have a ton of appointments. I don't know if I'm going to be able to even check in with you guys. Like I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do. Anyway, before I get anywhere, guys, I did such to give you out to you album. That man put his whole foot in it. Oh great no skips nothing i literally have been listening to it over and over and over and over again because that album is a complete vibe anyway let me go make my chocolate cake we'll see you guys tomorrow I didn't expect it. It's a good thing, I guess, because I didn't expect my business ads to blow up or for me to get clients. Like, I've been getting them because it's been dry, dry, dry. And all of a sudden, I have people booking and I'm fully booked. It's like 8 a.m. right now, 8, 9. And I literally just came from an appointment. Like, I had a client at 6. At 6. I have a pretty busy day today and I'm going to have you guys with me. But I think today, or rather, no, no. I think tomorrow will be the last day of this vlog so that I can have you guys with me as a new prep day. I have to go to I have to go help out my partner with something. I have to go help them out with getting stuff for when they are going for their work trip. We have to go look for go to Google, toiletries, all that good stuff. So I am going to help them with that. And then I also have to get some stuff from home. I'm gonna ask them for a little and then get them coring things. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys with me. And then I think I'm also going to do my meal prep shopping today. That's the gate. My landlady I think is leaving. Um, I'm also supposed to do my meal prepping today and. And so I'm going to, not meal prepping today, but rather meal prep shopping today. So I'm going to be going to pick and pay to get the things that I didn't get the last time. And cash and pay my rent. Adulting has your girl like this. At the moment, I am about to take a shower and get ready for my day basically. Oh, yesterday my friend came over and then we filmed uh, reacting to Mozana Woman post video. <laughs> I'm so excited for you guys to see this one because I know you guys are going to love it. I think I'm going to edit it before I finish editing this one, so it's probably already up by now. Go watch it if you haven't. In the end, this one, go watch that one, because I had so much fun. You guys are going to absolutely love it. Um, So pretty much that's why I've been so busy and so away from you guys. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get myself ready. <laughs> Like this. Do you try on all your nights like this? It is 
Sunday morning and I have such a packed and busy day today. Yo guys, I've been in my bag this past week. Like I've been trying so hard to, you know, handle business and create content. I literally shot, I think, three videos this past week. So whoop, whoop. for me, um, I'm about to go to the bus rank and go get my boyfriend's stuff that he bought my little brother. I was supposed to do it yesterday, but then when I called my mom and I was like, yeah, come this, 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 she was like, why not just do it in the morning anyways, because not so I made the wine. So I'm about to go do that. And then when I come back, I have to meal prep for the coming week. Uh, I haven't confirmed it with Bobby, but we're supposed to start soon if I have heart. Yeah, I'm so excited. I want to, you know, hit the ground running. I can't fail on the first week, uh, no way. <laughs> So I've got my book ready, I've prepped my foods. I want to just cook to make sure that I'm on my diet. I've chosen the high protein diet because in the 75 heart challenge you have to do a diet. You have to uh, work out twice a day for 45 minutes each. And one of the workouts has to be outside. You also have to follow a diet. You also have to read 10 pages of a book. You have to drink four liters of water every day. And your girl is trying to, you know, at least prep herself that I don't have any excuses because trust me, the excuses are going to come and I'm trying to fight myself and be disciplined because it is a mental challenge more than it is a health and wellness type situation. I got my hair looks a mess. Hmm, can I try a puff? So I can actually hold, wait a, hold a minute. <gasps> so I will see you guys when I come back. Put some spotlight on this life. I'm back from the bus ring and wizarding Kelepilor. My mom put a bunch of stuff in that bag. I'll never say no to free food, but I die. And I had to carry it all the way home. Freaking tired because of that. But you know, your girl stronger than she looks. I'm about to go meal prep, like I said I would. Because if I sit down, I'm gonna sit down and then I'm just not gonna do anything for the rest of the day. So I might as well go meal prep now. I haven't told you guys what I am making. For breakfast, I've decided that this week I'm going to only be having wheat bix, high protein wheat bix, and I haven't bought milk yet, can you believe? And then for lunch, it's either I have a roti wrap, which I'm gonna be making today, or I have a salad. So those two options. And then for dinner, I have two options of egg fried rice and spaghetti bolognese i used to feel like i shouldn't do it because you know people usually do it online i don't want to have the fancy plates you know with the little compartments for you know your carbs your veggies your all that one of those nice things that i just tell myself like you know what i shouldn't bother but i don't have them and that's fine at the end of the day i'm just making food the container is not what's important it's what's inside the container let's go let's get into this cooking <laughs> If you watched this far, thank you so 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 much for watching the video until the very end. You guys are doing numbers for my YouTube channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please make sure that you click that notification bell that you liked this video. It does amazing things for me. And I hope you really enjoyed this vlog because I enjoyed editing it. If you're a real one, you can already tell the differences there and there and there. Yeah, comment below like what I should improve on. Comment below. I love constructive criticism and I'm not the type to say no to it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!